Good morning party people! So, I head off to San Francisco this Sunday. I'm going for three weeks across several different climates for this trip. So I thought now is a really great opportunity to teach you guys how to pack for travels. Um, so what I've done here is I've laid my suitcase out. I have not prepped for this at all. So this is gonna actually show you the thought process and how I go about packing uh, for a trip. So as I said, I'm going to several different climates, starting in San Francisco, driving down the coast to LA, heading down to Mexico, uh, there on the west coast near Puerto Escondido for a few days, then heading across to Tulum for a few more days before heading up to New York for another week. Uh, so it's gonna be both very warm and very cold where I'm going. So I'm gonna have to take a lot of different options here. I'm gonna show you how I go about packing. Let's get started. Woo! Okay. Let's talk essentials. For me, basic t-shirts are essential. I am a messy, messy human. So when traveling, I like to get cheap, easy basics I'm not worried about. I've gone to Kmart, which is an Australian store for those of you aren't here. Each one of these t-shirts cost me, I think, six to eight dollars. And I've just gone for a gray, two whites, and a black. These are gonna be my staples for the trip. I'm gonna base a lot of my outfits around those. So as I said, I've gone to a few different climates, so I'm not going to keep things uh, too heavy in the t-shirt department as I can kind of wear a few like cutoffs over a few days. I've also had to pick, pack an outfit for the wedding. So you know, you guys know I love band t-shirts. I've grabbed two little cutoffs here. I've got one short sleeve and I've got two long sleeves here. This one is part of the new JW Anderson collection, which you can check out the video on that up there, up there. Yeah, and then this is just like a waffle knit um, layering piece here. So they're gonna go in. Now, you'll notice, I'm not taking the hangers off my shirts. Why is that, I hear you ask? Because I've got these lightweight plastic hangers. And when traveling, I like to keep them on. I lay flat, I halve, and I halve again. That's how I hang or pack my shirts. So that when I get straight to anywhere I'm going, I just hang them straight up on the rack. I'm adding in maybe an extra few hundred grams of weight here, but it means that it's easy for me to store and clean things up when I when I land wherever I am. So even if I'm only there for a night, I normally will hang these up, save them getting too creased. Uh, it's just a bit easier. And it's also easy to pick your outfits for the day. There's my travel hack number one. My next travel hack for you is getting yourself a lightweight down jacket like this one right here. Again, this is from Uniqlo. I know I look like I'm doing this as a sponsored post. I'm not, I just genuinely like the product. So, the beauty of this jacket is, it's insulated, because it's a down jacket. It has a bit of water resistance because it has that coating on it. But the beauty of it is, this thing folds down so tiny. So, you can see that I've just fold in half, fold the sleeves in. Now I'm gonna compress and roll it, squeezing all of the air out of it. You've got the case there, I'm not going to use that for this one. This one here can just fit in the side pocket. You've got a whole jacket there, just in the ease, tiny pocket, stuffed in a corner, it can be used if you're taking a hat, you can like put it like that to fill the actual hat out and keep the crown nice and safe. This is a must have if you're going anywhere cooler. Travel hack number two. All right, next up I'm packing board shorts. Board shorts, board. I don't know, I don't know Beyonce's music. I was trying to sing it, but I can't do it. Um, so as you can see, I'm not actually putting anything into the suitcase yet. I'm just getting an overview of what I need, essentially. So I've gone through and I've got, what's that? Four t-shirts, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tops right there. I'm gonna get a few button-up options now as it will be quite cold going down the coast from San Francisco and then when you're in New York. So I might get some flannelette options. I might get a crew neck and I need jackets. All right, so I've got two flannelettes, one in the green, one in the red. I've got a black denim shirt. They will be my layering pieces. Why is everything so crushed in my house? I need a steamer. I have one, my mum's got my steamer. So we're supposed to pick up there right there. Top sleeve variations there. And that's gonna do me for my tops. So, you can see here, that's all laid out nice and flat. The next thing I'm gonna need is bottoms. The beauty of bottoms is you don't need too many options. So I'm gonna go with probably two pairs of denim, two or three pairs of trousers, and then I think only maybe one pair of shorts because I'll be wearing board shorts 
or a lightweight chino option, I think, in Mexico. So, I'm gonna grab them now. Right. I've got here a heavier trouser, pleated. I'm gonna lay that one in there right now. I also have this black pair of a lighter weight material, pleated. So, I've just half folded them. I've kept them with the pleats uh, intact, so they're just nice and neat. You can see them, I've laid them sideways. I'm also gonna get the shorts now. Lay them just there. One pair of tan shorts, one pair of black denim shorts, one pair of blue shorts. I honestly think that's gonna be too much, but that's fine, it'll do for now. Next thing I'm gonna do is get my tops in. So, as I showed you before, the way I fold these, I'm gonna do the long sleeves all together. So, down, half, and in, nice and easy. Next one is, I do this reverse. Down, half, and in. Tuck the sleeves in. Now you can see here, I've got these pockets all around where I can add extra stuff. So, as I said, I've got that jacket there. I can add that in down the side there if I need to. I've got my board shorts here. I can roll these up, add these down the side if I need to. I know I haven't forgotten these ones. These ones can then lay on flat on top. Nice and simple. Now I've got the whole other side of my suitcase where I'm gonna put in footwear, jackets. Am I forgetting something? Jeans, I haven't put my jeans in yet. Denim, I was forgetting denim. Denim goes in there because it's a little bit heavier. Now you guys will notice there is no active wear in here yet. <gasps> it's because that goes in my carry-on. With my jackets, I normally put one jacket in one bag and then the other in my carry-on bag. The reason I do that is my carry-on bag will take, oh, my leather jacket's hanging there. I'll put my leather jacket in my carry-on bag because when I get to San Francisco, it'll be cold. I want to have that there to chuck straight on and I don't want to be wearing it out of Sydney as it's too hot here. So, I'll chuck my denim jacket here. I've just got a clean denim jacket from Nudie. Nice and simple. This one's just gonna get a half fold. And that can then sit in on top of my denim in the back there. Footwear. So footwear is an important one. I love my shoes. My plain shoes, I'm actually wearing right now. This is what I'll be wearing on the plane. Um, just the sock racer here is so comfy. It stretches as your feet swell up. So it never gets uncomfortable. I need to get some basics. I'm gonna need Converse, Vans, sneakers, and a boot. Converse, Vans, sneakers, and the boot. I, I did get both pairs. Um, so with these ones, I'm trying to keep myself covered for every option here. The sneakers I've got are ones I can both train in and just wear around. These are the new ISPA React. They're actually waterproofed. So it means if it's raining, if it's adverse weather, these would be a great option to wear. Then I've got my classics. I also train in both Vans and Converse, as you guys should know by now. So that's an easy one. Now with the shoes, I'll also pack these separately. I'm not gonna put them all in the one suitcase. Boots are in, Converse are in. These two are gonna go in the other bag. The reason I do this is one, again, if something happens and one of my suitcases goes missing, I've got another option for footwear with me. It also means I'm taking the weight out of this one a little bit more. Now, toiletries. You already packed it. Well, here's the fun fact. This thing is always packed. This is my travel suitcase. Because I travel a fair bit, I like to keep a toiletries bag ready to go at all times. So the only things I need to add to it normally are like a new toothbrush or sometimes like floss or whatever it is. So, boom, that one's in. Socks and undies. I'm not gonna pack socks and undies right now because if we're being completely honest, I actually don't leave for a few days. I'm doing this purely for the video. But I like to pack my socks and undies into one of these like hessian bag things. This then will just stuff down in between. Okay, I like to go crazy with socks and undies because you never know what you're gonna need. If I'm going for 10 days, I'm gonna pack 20 pairs of socks and 20 pairs of underwear. I like to mix up my socks, both high and low invisible socks. So I've got all options covered as I'll be in predominantly cooler weather for this trip though, I will need to have more high socks, I think. Here's another travel hack. I also travel with this super lightweight uh, duffel bag. This one's by Reigns. I bought this in Paris last year. 
The reason I bought it was because I went too shopping crazy in Paris and needed an extra bag for the way home. I always make sure whatever my travel allowance is when traveling, I go one bag under that so that if I do want to pick up pieces along the way, I can bring them home. This is lightweight. It can just lay flat in my suitcase there in between the layers. And that means I've got an extra bag. So on the way home, I can actually fill it up and have that one with me. Travel hack. I think that's gonna do for today, guys. Other gear, like my camera stuff, that stays with me in my carry-on to make it nice and safe. Um, I'm not gonna go into details with that. If you wanna see more, if you have other questions, hit me up on Instagram, at is Nathan. Make sure you follow me there. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. Tell your mama say hi. I'll see you guys next time.